What's up everybody, Corey here at Riot Quest TV. Today I'm going to do a really quick blurb before we put up our very first official video. Um, so Riot Quest TV, uh, like uh, I'm going to talk about, it's going to be everything encompassing the game Riot Quest. We're going to do playthroughs, we're going to break down characters, we're going to talk about gear, talk about alternate gameplay scenarios, everything Riot Quest related. But to get there I'd like to help try and grow the Riot Quest TV community. So if we can get 50 subscribers and if we get 50 comments down below, um, tell me what your favorite character is in the game, be it because he's good or because it's got some kind of theme that you love. Like my favorite guy is Captain Crawtooth, just because he reminds me of Leatherface from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is oddly one of my favorite characters from that uh, cartoon. Um, then if we can hit those two marks, I'll be doing a little bit of a giveaway. So Riot Quest has these kits that do alternate sculpts and some foil promo cards that you can give away at tournaments or, you know, doing giveaways. Um... And because we haven't been able to run any tournaments recently, I've got some extra treasure Bamfists. So what we do is when we hit 50 subscribers, 50 comments down below, I'll pick one at random from those 50, and I will ship out a free treasure Bamfist for you um, as a cool way to help grow the community. So um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to get that first video up here. And uh, as always, don't touch your face, wash your hands, and game on. What's up everybody, Corey here at the Labyrinth Games, and today we're going to be unveiling a new TV series here on the channel called Riot Quest TV. Riot Quest is a game that I learned to play back around September and I've loved it ever since. What is Riot Quest? Riot Quest is a fast moving, highly unpredictable, scrimmish board game for two to four players using miniatures. Now, there's a few criteria that this game met, and that's the reason why I love it, and I'm going to kind of go over it in this very first episode. And that way, if you're uh, familiar with miniatures, or if you're not familiar with miniatures, maybe this game might be up your alley. So I've played tons of different miniatures games for the last 10 plus years, and when I heard about Riot Quest, it fit a bunch of that criteria I wanted in playing a new game. Um, I knew I didn't have a lot of time to spend playing, and I didn't have a ton of money playing, and I wanted to make sure it was fun, and it met a bunch of criteria. So, let's talk about the first criteria. Time. Uh, most miniatures games last about an hour and a half plus, and I wanted to find a game that definitely fit in the hour and a half range or less. And uh, Riot Quest is about a 20 to 35 minute game. We have pushed very rarely in the hundreds of games I've played about 45 minutes. But it's definitely a 20 to 30 minute game. So criteria for time base, this game is amazing in that window. Uh, the follow up had to be a cost efficient game. I've played tons of different miniatures games and you can spend 200 or $300 just to feel the base, basic base army. Well, this game, $49.99, gets you the starter box. That's a one-player kit, gives you five figures and all the pieces you need to play. So entry level to get into the game is 50 bucks. That's pretty amazing. The figures after you buy it um, range anywhere between 13 and 20 on average, plus there's a couple above that and a few kits that are um, $35 to $50, but not that much. The other cool thing about this game, unlike most miniatures games, you have to dedicate yourself to a single faction or a single army. So if you play Necrons, you have to always play Necrons. If you're playing Dwarfs, you have to play Dwarfs. In this game, you don't focus on a single faction or army, per se. You buy the figures you want to play in your crew. So you can buy what you want and not buy what you want. So that way when you're in and you're getting bored of a certain figure or bored of a certain crew, you don't have to go and drop another $100, $150 to just play another army. So it's a, another great option for this game. The third criteria is an obvious one, but actually comes up a lot. Is the game fun? Yes, it's cheap. Yes, it's quick. But is it fun? It is fun. It is by far one of the funnest miniatures games I've ever played. So many games have come down to the final points to win the game. It just amazes me um, compared to all the 40k games I've played, a few War Machine games I've played, and a few other miniatures games I've played. This game by far has the best turnout of, of good games I've ever played in the small amount of time I've played it since it's only been out since September-ish. Now, what exactly is Riot Quest? I'm not going to break down the exact rules um, in this video, for say. I'll put a link down below if you want to see how to play the game, for say. I'm just going to kind of uh, do a little synopsis of it. Uh, basically, Riot Quest is a game where you construct a crew of five to ten crew members. Um, five usually being the demo game or the box set you can play, and it's still fun. Um, and six to ten is the standard gameplay. So there's a game style called Adventure, and each character has a class type. Adventure is one of each class type of the six classes. So that obviously would be a six crew uh, team. But if not, you can play up to ten crew members of any, any class that you want to play. 
Um, and then what you do is you feel them into a small map. It's a, I think it's, uh, be considered like a three by three map. So it's a smaller one, maybe even smaller than that, actually. And you drop your crew into the arena. Now, the cool thing about this game is this arena has six spawn points. So you roll a d6, and that's when your crew member comes in. So you can't ever really plan your starting off, uh, your, your starting plan. Most games, you start on this side of the table, they start on this side of the table. You've got a rule set objective, and then you smash it out. So this game, you come into a random spawn gate. I love that. It's a great way to start the game. Um, you have to think on the fly. Very chaotic. Once you're in the arena, you have a few different things you're going to be shooting for. You want to knock out your opponents. Cool thing about this game is when you knock out one of your opponent's crew members, they're not dead. They go to a cooler on the side and have a chance to come back and redeem themselves later on. So they're never actually out. out. Um, whenever your crew gets knocked out and you have people on your benches, at the start of your turn, you always spawn in more guys up to four people and play at any time. So there's always fast action going on. Um, your goal is not just to knock out your opponents on the table. You're also going to be trying to collect treasures that are randomly spawning up on six different locations. Why do you want these treasures? Uh, you can get different abilities from them and loot. Loot is used to pay for the gear that you have. For each crew member in your gear, or for each crew member in your crew, you can pick a piece of gear. And every uh, guy that you buy, every model usually comes with a uh, gear card too. So not only do you pick a unique crew, you get to pick a unique gear loadout. So each of your characters can use a, a, a gear that you can equip to them. So now that you're running around the board collecting treasure, knocking out your opponents, Every time you knock someone out, you get a scrap card. Scrap is equivalent to victory points, and the base game plays seven victory points. So you get seven, you win. Well, the thing is, there are going to be two objectives happening at any point in time during this game. Objectives can be loot a treasure and knock somebody out. Uh, objective can be a trap pops in the middle of the, the arena, and it moves around, and you have to disarm it. There's tons of different objectives you have to do. And these objectives are, if not more important, and obviously just as important as knocking out your opponents, because they give you victory points to get that final W, a big win. Um, and the other thing is playing multi multiplayer with this. Most other miniatures games, when you add more players, games can take two or three or four all day to play another miniatures game. We've played four players, we've played 2v2, we've played three players. Games still only average about 30 to 35 minutes, sometimes 45, depending on how crazy they get because of decisions. But because the victory points, there's so many more characters and playing objectives are happening, the game goes quicker. So even multiplayer games go fast. So all around, this game is quick, it's cost efficient, and it's fun. So if you're ever looking to pick up a miniatures game, I would recommend taking a look at Riot Quest. Um, once the shop is back up and running, we have people playing all the time, we run leagues, we have tournaments. Um, and if you play Tabletop Simulator, they have it on there, so you can check it out there. Uh, but either way, uh, we'll be doing a bunch of more episodes about Riot Quest. Again, I want to break down um, some of the figures. I want to break down some, some strategies, some play styles, some gear loadouts for characters. This is a very beer and pretzel game. It is fun. It is super casual. People are like, well, why are you talking about all this stuff if it's so casual? I just love talking about it. It's one of those things. So if there's something that catches your interest or you're already playing and just want to talk about Riot Quest, stick around to Riot Quest TV. Um, subscribe, check back in, and we'll be trying to do a weekly upload. I can't guarantee that, as I've been wanting to do this. Uh, I think I wanted this up two or three months ago, so I've definitely slacked on that, plus we've done some changing since the uh, COVID has come out. But, again, if this is, has anything, any of your interest, um, come back and check it out. So, I appreciate it, guys. Remember, during these time frames, always try to help support your local game store. Um, every purchase helps, big or small. Um, and as always, Stay healthy, wash your hands, don't touch your face, game on.